everybody back again here. Um, digging deep here. I'm always digging into something. That's kind of going to be my motto. Uh, and, and again, I just enjoy doing this and trying to help people out um, from what I learn. So uh, basically, this channel is just about a little bit of everything. I'm in the metal detecting radios, a little bit of everything. Just uh, just started watching my channel. Um, but uh, the hot subject right now is will the 4400 generator run a 15,000 BTU, uh, the new Predator 4400 converter generator. Sorry for the background noise, I'm still an amateur at this, neighbor's cutting grass, but basically um, there was a comment on one of my last videos that uh, it's only on a 20 amp breaker, why well, I get that, you know, 20 amp breakers just because the rate for 20 amps can hold like a, a fraction of a second or even a second or so. Uh, spiking load up over that 20 amps and won't trip the breaker. Uh, so basically I just want to make this video so everybody can see how the hard start capacitor actually has working for me. Uh, longevity of them, I got another one ordered up that should be here tomorrow. I'm going to keep in the camper. Uh, the longevity, how they last, whether they blow the tops off, I don't know. But I'm willing to try it because I like boondocking and uh, if, if it makes my life a little better with my kids out there and cooling things down with that 4400 generator that's what I want um, now I know uh, Predator has 35 unit 2 uh, so that's worked for some people with 15,000 BTU ACs and uh, just keep in mind I think there's a variance there on hand draw and it may work for one application and not the other but I still highly recommend a high start capacity because you're going to see in these videos uh, the amperage spikes and uh, I think it could really be kind of hard on a, on a, a smaller generator. But again, I'm no master, so uh, take, take all of this I tell you for granted. And it's just what I've kind of learned. But uh, I'm going to drop a couple clips of how this thing starts without the hard start capacitor. And I'm going to drop a couple clips. Uh, it's starting with the hard, hard start capacitor. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Let's get moving here. So I know before y'all criticize me, this is probably not the best way to mount it in here, but it's not hitting anything solid, even bouncing around like that a little bit. So I've got various zip ties on it, and the thing is very light, and uh, so I think that'll do for now. Okay, so I want you to watch very carefully. Uh, this is the surge without the hard start capacitor as it draws over 50 amps. So right there you saw a spike of 58 amps. There is a perfect logical reason there why you could hit the surge protection on generators. Some may hold a little stronger tolerance. I'm no expert, I just want to help people. That's all I'm trying to do. But yes, you, as you've seen, that was a 50 amp spike. So if you have a 39, correction, if you have a 29 uh, maximum surge protection output, well, if you hit that too hard, well guess what? That's gonna set off the surge protection in your generator, not to mention um, that it will be rather hard on it, um, especially in the auto setting where you will be um, satisfying the AC going on and off. So that's something to weigh out as well. But now what we are going to do is put the hard start capacitor on and see the difference in spike. Okay, so we're gonna power to uh, high cool here. And we have the hard start capacitor on. We're gonna see what the surge is. So right there, 23 amps. Y'all saw that, I know I saw it. There's your difference, 
23 amps, and then it, uh, our, our spike surge was well over 50, um, you know, without the hard start capacitor on there, so just wanted to put that little clip in there. I hope this helps anybody kind of put the pieces to the puzzle together a little bit. Now, I'm not going to sit here, so we're running at a constant 11.5 uh, amps right now. Um, it's about 80 couple degrees out, 84 degrees. But uh, basically, you know, I'm not saying I'm like a, a, an expert at this either. Uh, I do have a little bit of an electrical background. But I just knew something wasn't right upon firing these generators. And if you do your research, you will find that people have trouble with 3,000 or, or 3,500 generators with these 15,000 BTU ACs. Um, and it kind of makes sense if you think about it. But, uh, you know, the generators have surge protection, and that could probably vary up upon the load and how the surge, protect surge protection is built on that specific unit. But you've got to think it's, it's got to protect the internals of that generator. So, um, you know, because, you know, if you're trying to generate power and you keep, keep working it, well, there that one. Keep it working it like that. Uh, it's not going to last long. But I just wanted to make this video for people to see that you're spiking pretty high on a 15,000 BTU. Now you might have a variance in different make and models of these AC units. I get it. Um, again, I'm no expert, but I did a little research myself, um, and I, I'll drop a, a picture down on the specifications on there. And I think I saw somewhere in there. Uh, of it could be as high as 60 amps so um, I could be wrong on that but I'll drop that picture in this bit um, so again uh, this is kind of based off uh, the 30 or a, a correction the 4400 watt predator generator that just came out so basically if you want to run this thing out in the field and uh, put less stress on your uh, generator uh, and AC unit on the roof Obviously, it's hard on that too. So, uh, just, just hope this helps anybody. Um, so, the soft start capacitor would probably be a little bit better bang for your buck. But if you wanted to get one of these hard starts, um, it, it'll get you. It'll it'll do the job for sure. So, um, do your research. There's many other. There's many of uh, AC techs out there. I, used to, I have a little bit of a um, HVAC background uh, working alongside a tech where I used to work. But, you know, when the, when a compressor starts to get bad, they throw these things on, um, you know, and it, and it makes them fire off a little easier um, when, when the compressor's on the last leg. So again, I, I'm no master at this. I kind of consider myself like a jack of all trades. So take it for granted on all this information. And again, thanks for watching. I, uh, I plan to get better and post more vid videos. I enjoy doing this and I hope it helps anybody out, uh, uh, out there. So uh, feel free to comment below, uh, like and subscribe or dislike. Thanks for watching.